been a couple of days since I was working on this. Uh, the only thing I ended up doing was I, uh, I undid my bungee that was holding up the, uh, the lead screw and I used the uh, hand wheel to move the carriage all the way over until it got to the point where it's now off the rack. The tooth that's on the shaft is no longer engaging the rack, so that is the limit as far as that goes. So now, um, oh, I also made sure that this should be the carriage lock for this. Uh, I made sure that that's loose. I'm not sure what this bolt does. I'm going to loosen it. Um, now another good thing about having this carriage lock on here like this is, is I can find out, by looking at this one, I might be able to figure out why the Hendy one doesn't work. <clears throat> now, it moves pretty easily along the ways here, but when it got up to this area here, it got a little bit harder, but that could be, just be this flash rust that's on the ways here. And uh, so now what I'm going to do is there's uh, two bolts right here that actually... Um, tighten this uh, <clears throat> this bottom part this bottom bracket so if I loosen these that should make it a lot easier to slide this off because I'm just about ready to have to slide this all the way off the end I'm going to slide it pretty far and then uh, I'm going to move the loader on the all of our tractor, which I'm happy to report, seems to be running normally now. Uh, no more runaway problems. The linkage is still sloppy, but I've got it adjusted to a point where I can pretty consistently pop it into neutral without it wanting to pop back into reverse after going forward, which is the big problem I was having before. Which is, you know, you think you're putting it back into neutral and the thing would go into reverse, which is a pain. Anyways, um, So again, the idea being, oh, what they call it? I thought it was a different size bullet head, but it's just got so much gunk on it. Well, it's actually one, two, there's five bolts holding this bracket on. I'm not going to take this bracket all the way off. loosening it should suffice. Alright, so now with that loose, this carriage should be able to move. The only reason it's not moving is, is because it's so heavy. Alright, now I'm not sure if this lever is going to just fall out once it reaches. I guess that lever is just going to fall out. That should be okay. Grab my gloves. Uh, probably don't want to go any further than that until... a bunch of some kinds of seeds in the apron. Not a good spot for that to be. I wonder, how, I wonder if a mouse carried that stuff in there. Well, I've never seen a mouse carry little tiny seeds like that in stockpile. It looks more like something a bird would do. Well, anyways. What I started to say was I'm not going to go any further with sliding this off because I'm about to reach that point where I'll be past it will take this lever off. I'll be past the point of no return and since I don't have anything supporting it from overhead at this point I'm going to end up putting some strain on some things I don't want to strain. Well, it turns out there's another bar right here that's held on with a couple of two bolts. So if I wanted to lift this straight up and off, I would have to remove this bar. And actually I still couldn't do that because of the fact that again the lead screw is still halfway into the apron. You gotta you gotta take this all the way 
way up this way before you can lift it straight up and off. Now, if I was leaving the apron on and just unscrewing here, even that's a problem because I remember that I have to take out the cross feed shaft to disengage that gear. So, coming all the way off the end and up, is, in my opinion, is still going to be the best way to handle this. And actually, I think the way I handled this on the Hendy, because I was down in the basement, I couldn't use the loader. I may have not even supported it from overhead. I may have actually just slid it off onto blocks. Maybe I'll get some blocking underneath this. So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm <laughs> trying to get this thing lifted and every time I go to lift it up it's uh, not lifting straight so uh, I finally decided to put another strap on and uh, uh, through uh, adjusting it back and forth I finally got the thing leveled out. Well so the video that you just got done watching uh, was shot at the end of August and uh, today is December 18th and I still have not gotten that uh, burn and lathe into the basement. Been really busy though. Uh, I did finally finish getting the Wells Index Mill into the basement and uh, you're gonna see a video series on that coming up what was involved in the disassembly and moving and reassembly of that um, heavy mill to get it down to the basement. Uh, right now the Vernon's still sitting out there under a tarp. It's partially disassembled as you saw but uh, still gonna get that down in the basement. Uh, so we're going to stop this video right here and uh, probably going to be a while before you see any more videos on the Vernon. Uh, well, we'll try and sneak some in here and there.